Mike, thank you for, uh, for the kind introduction. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you very much. I want to remind everyone, make sure to go ahead and use the app uh, that you were introduced today. Make sure you do the surveys. Check out some of the links that are on the app. I think you're going to find a lot of exciting things on there. Today, I want to talk to you about the four must-haves in looking for an MLM software provider. And the first thing, in my opinion, is the number one thing that you've got to look for, and that's relationship. Looking for an MLM software application or an MLM software company is kind of like looking for a date through an application like Tinder. You're going to swipe left, you're going to swipe right, you're going to look for that ideal relationship. And the relationship with your software provider is kind of like a relationship with your family. For those of you that have kids, those of you that are married, sometimes you don't always get along. But when you do have an issue, you move forward, you get past it, and you go forward. This is the same thing that you're going to look for in an MLM software provider. So when you're looking for an MLM software provider, the first thing is, how does it feel? Is it comfortable? Do you like the person that you're talking to on the phone? Or are they trying to rush you to the sale? If they're focused on how much does the software cost, how fast can we get you launched, they're only focused on the money that they can extract from you. This is going to be a long-term relationship. Just like your spouse, just like you're going to, with your kids, you're going to spend more time with your MLM software provider over the next 3, 6, 12 months probably than you're going to spend with your family. Especially those of you that are starting a new company, there's a lot of things that you've got to do. So when looking for a provider, look for a relationship. Look for somebody that's been in the industry for a long time. Like our company, we've been around for 33 years. We've been there, done that. We've seen just about anything and everything that you can see in the industry. Look for a relationship with a company that has all of the resources that you're going to need. Interview their employees. Look for resources that they have relationship with, whether it be merchant account providers, website designers, commission payment platforms, merchant accounts. Um, there's so many different things that you're going to have to do. You want to make sure they're going to bring all of those relationships to bear for you and your company. Look for testimonials, not testimonials that they put on their website, but look for testimonials from third-party companies like Captera, captera.com, google.com. Google.com has great reviews. Look on Google and see, does the software company you're looking to engage for your company that's going to work with you, your distributors, your customers, your team, do they have reviews from third parties that have actually been reviewed and verified and not just reviews that they've put out there themselves because you don't know if those are true or false. If you look at somebody like Captera, Google, they've actually taken the time to review those, those testimonials and those reviews to make sure that it's the right company. Again, this is a relationship. Talk to their employees, talk to their compensation plan developer. It's not about price. This is the number one thing that most people think that they're going to look for. Price is actually the last thing that you should talk about. Price is pretty simple. Most companies are going to have a one-time setup fee. They're going to have an ongoing monthly fee. What you want to make sure is that you're get, not getting locked into a relationship where you've got to pay for training after the project is set up, where you don't have to pay for customer support every time you call the company, where you don't have to pay for all of the improvements in the software that they should just automatically roll into the software for you. There's a lot of questions to ask. Remember also, this is a long-term relationship and on average, most MLM companies will change software providers three times before they find the right software company to work with. So make sure that you're not locked into a contract that's going to be 12 or 24 months. In fact, look for a contract that you've got to get out of jail free card. It's like I said, it's like a relationship. You need a divorce clause. You need a separation clause in there that doesn't hold you hostage for the next 12 months with the software company. So take a good look at the contract. Pay close attention to it. Interview the employees. Look at the companies that they're already providing software for. In fact, ask to speak to some of their existing customers. Not just the customers that they think are going to give good reviews and testimonials. Go take a look and talk to some of their customers that they've worked with for three months and for three years. Find out what they think about the software company. And if that software company is not willing to introduce you to some of their customers, probably means they don't have a lot. Again, make sure that you've got a team that you're working with globally, worldwide, because guess what? You're going to be 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is not a Monday through Friday banker's hours. So when you've got support issues, you need to get hold of these people. They need to help you out. So again, relationship is paramount in everything that you're going to do. The next thing we're going to talk about is compensation plans. So let's go ahead and go to the slide. And then we're going to talk about compensation plans.